Welcome to a very serious issue of the Pew. This is a very <laughs> serious issue. We've got a very serious issue. It's a, a, a issue. It's a, 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 a slander and and uh, two two cases of slander. Well, is it slander <clears throat> or is it defamation? What's the difference? I don't know. Well, there's both. You know, I work in the media, and I know we've had seminars at work about slander and libel. Fifty and years ago, but you know what? I'm just, I'm just looking out the window. I'm not really listening. Because I'm you tired. know why? Because these lawsuits never go anywhere. All, all that happens is they file a lawsuit, and then the newspaper just says, "Okay, we won't do it anymore," and then that's it. You know, they get away with the saying it. It's it's the public humiliation and the private apology thing. Well, my rule of thumb for avoiding uh, these issues of slander and defamation when I'm writing stories it's is just to, a fake name. No, it's to just stick to the truth. Stick to uh, what I know is factual. Oh That's then, why your articles are so boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, I write news. It's supposed to be boring. No, it's supposed to be sensationalistic. <laughs> And then the prostitute said that she was going to kill the mass murderer and the, you know, okay. So the first question an editor would ask you if you wrote that would be, how do you know that? I just do. <laughs> <laughs> do you know somebody com com compared me yesterday to Jim Jones, said the, you know, the Reverend uh, Cult, you know, um, who made everybody drink That's not a good comparison. Oh, but there's more to it. But I'm the opposite of Jim Jones because instead of making them drink Kool-Aid, I made them drink ecstasy and everybody loved each other. <laughs> it was kind of a good comparison then, mm. right? I mean, in, um, except the part about giving everybody a little drought, though. <laughs> but the intention was there. Mm. Because where he wanted to, he was saying the world so is, is a that, terrible place. Is that libel or defamation or slander to be compared to no. Jim Jones? No, because they qualified it. So to say that because he want, he said the world is a terrible place we have to leave. I say the world is a great place we have to enhance it, and we'll be right back. Oh no, we won't, because we didn't say anything about Lucian. <laughs> no. okay. So we are going to talk about Lucian Winter. We're right back. <laughs> I told you we'll be right back. So Lucian Wintrick, as all of you know, is the. Um, Twinks for twink Trump. For Trump. Uh, is it Twinks for Trump or Twink for Trump? I think it's Twinks. Well, he, well he, I, I don't He's know. He's a Twink for Trump. He is a he, Twink for Trump. And um, he has been... Should we tell He is a genius of media manipulation. Yeah, but he's... First of all. But he's a, a... What do you call him? Like a super villain? Like a, a... An evil genius? An evil genius. And um, he uses his powers of manipulation not for the better of everybody like we do. He uses his powers of manipulation for the better of Lucian Winter, and which he's done quite well. I mean, he's been very successful so far. But you know, the Greek tales will tell you how they end in the end, how they happen in the end. They get their comeuppance. But he's the one who was friends with Lucian, you know, Sebastian Summer, who the filmmaker who robbed me last year in the publicity stuff. Well, now he and he's also the one who. Claimed he got gay bashed in the White House and when who? some reporter grabbed his Touched arm him, to uh, complain that he works for a racist and uh, anti-Semitic website. And he's also the one who is in the movie that Ernie and I were in and who said to the media that he quit filming because of the unsavory characters uh, involved in the film who were far beneath him <laughs> when actually he just had one scene and he liked that was it. Um, so now Lucian is up to something new and he has told... And this is something that is so outrageous that on so many levels I can't even. He's telling everybody that I have intention that I intentionally go out to give people HIV by biting my own. What is it? By biting my by biting well, the ear let's, tongue. Let's let's put. And uh, we don't want to put words into his mouth. Let's hear yeah. what Lucian has to say. All right. So we're gonna play it. We're gonna play it right now. You're gonna hear. I was friends with Mike Lally for a short amount of time. <laughs> Um, he, you know, I tend to give people the, uh, the benefit of the, uh, benefit the of the doubt. doubt. Yeah, sure. Great person. Um, when it came to Michael Alec, I, uh, I s sort of ended our friendship yeah, after yeah. I Cut it off. discovered that he was, uh, doing what cocktails of heroin and meth. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and then also he had this joke where he tried to give people <laughs> HIV. No. So neither of them, yeah, I'm d I, dead serious. So he, dead serious. uh, bite his tongue, then try to, um, he'd go out to a party or whatever, try to uh, bite somebody else's tongue to the point that it would bleed to uh, give them a blood transfusion. Insinuating no that I have HIV. Did he ever try that with you? Did no, you no, no, no. Yeah, no. he never, thank God he never tried never it with me, it. but I mean, he thought that was a hilarious joke. I didn't. And that was no, really of course. The last time I, uh, I spoke to him. Oh, yeah. 
I think that Lucius <laughs> is a hilarious <laughs> joke. What? I think Lucian is a hilarious joke. I, oh, I didn't know. He's a, he's a character of our own, you know, I mean, we couldn't have dreamed up. Of, uh, of perfect, we love this. Yeah, <laughs> like, if it wasn't about, uh, so no. why is he even talking about you on Andy Land? Like, how do you Every come up in a show conversation? that he goes on to talk about anything, his White House scam, his, you know, whatever, uh, he talks about me because it brings more. And I think he's trying to provoke it brings more me. what? Attention oh. and viewers, and I think he's trying to provoke me to sue him for slander because he would want that publicity. Because you remember, this is a man who came up with the idea to steal something from me so that I would accuse him of being a thief so that we could get in the newspapers. Clever. So I actually told you... him, I actually gave him that idea, but from Project X. About so how do you have HIV? That. No. Okay. But I... So do you feel slandered? I mean, no, but it's just, I mean, no, because I mean, like, I, I think I'm the only person who doesn't have HIV. I mean, like, I was talking yesterday with Bertie about um, all of her friends. They all get that Hatha thing, you know, the $1,200. The city pays people mm -hmm. $1,200 uh, $1, a month to get HIV and um, to live in an apartment. And I'm thinking, and they're going to quit it soon. There's like this mad rush to get HIV, so you're going to get that money. So... That's not a lot of money for an apartment, twelve hundred dollars. Well, for a studio, it can pay for most of it. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So, um, so there's this like rush to get HIV, and which might explain the bud chasing a little bit. But, um, but of all her friends, I'm the only one who's not collecting this twelve hundred dollars month. I'm like, what an idiot I am. Well, I mean, I I still wouldn't want HIV. I mean, just so no, you can get but subsidized rent. Uh, well, that's not really that much money. Well, mm. well, it is kind of nowadays when. People with HIV live longer. You know, this is actually awful. Of a good friend of ours who was had was diagnosed with HIV when he called his parents and told them that. And these are parents famous for not caring so much about their kid. You know what they told him? What they said? Oh well, you'll probably outlive us. People with HIV now get great, great medication, and you'll get. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, like. I guess they were trying to look on the bright side. I guess. <laughs> but I mean, when you call your parents, you want a little bit of like, you know, oh, honey, I'm sorry, I love you. You know, mm -hmm. not like, oh, that's nothing. <laughs> it's a toothache. Yeah. You live longer than we are. Well, I mean, doggy. <laughs> I think Chris Rock had a skit about HIV uh, or AIDS where, you know, he was making light of it, you know, because people were living so much longer. He's like, he was saying that it was going to become just this mundane thing. Like, oh, my AIDS is acting up. Gotta take well, my I've already said that in some generations, it's going to be an abnormality when people are born without it. And they're going to have to inject them with HIV so that everybody's the same. No, they're probably going to cure it soon, you know, and then it'll go away. It'll go away. Yes. You know, I don't, you don't want anything to go away. You don't like change. No. So um, any kind. <laughs> so, so we're gonna show this episode ready, ready, every single day. Are you ready to sue uh, Lucian? I'm. I I'm very seriously thinking about it. And Bernie's friend is a lawyer, and he is looking into this for me because he will get some publicity. Of it too. <laughs> well, that's all you'll get because you're not gonna get it. In mind. Oh, I know, I know. Because all the they'll tell him to do is stop saying it. Right, and that's why plus, I don't think he has any money. His parents do. Yeah, but you can't get his parents' money. Oh, can't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, when they find out that he has underage naked boys and they're sent to jail. Well, I mean, I don't know how difficult it would be to find that out. I mean, it's uh, go on Instagram. Let's just look. go to Instagram right now and find out. Mm -hmm. It's already been I can't up. believe that they didn't vet him, that they didn't look, that Donald Trump didn't look at Instagram. Well, we already yeah. had this conversation, and remember I said that I didn't think having naked guys on your Instagram should disqualify you from being in no, the I, I don't, White well, House press pool. I don't think so either, but I think they would think that. Uh, well, maybe they don't. Oh, no, the Republicans, they all sleep with young boys. <laughs> were they young boys or were they guys? Well, I mean, they look kind of young. Where's the crop? I don't know. Well, like 18, and, well, they they're, were over 18. They, no, they're not. They weren't? No. Oh, okay. What do I know? Lucian wouldn't lower himself to uh, have anybody. Oh, okay. Anything. Now who's slandering? I'm just saying that you can lower himself. Who's libeling now? I'm. I. Well, we. I. I. I'm. He's liable to who's say anything. Who's defaming? <laughs> he's liable. He's not famous, so I can't defame him. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.